everybody. I am back. So sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out, but um, I was kind of sick over the weekend as I had a reaction to getting my flu shot, and I also got the booster at the same time. It's probably not a good idea, but at least I'm flu-sted and boosted now, so there you have it. Anywho, long story short, um, I did manage to get started on some Christmas things, so let me just show you here. Oh, any pretty? Just working on some little beaded spiders. That's the top. That's the top there. Anyway, and you can mold their little arms so you can have them kind of 3D, you know? Kind of want to balance them on something. There you go. Or you can do them kind of flat and then hang them from the tree. I use a little bit of fishing line in there um, and hang them on the tree for the legend of the Christmas spider, which I'll put in the description below if you've never heard the legend of the Christmas spider. So I've been making these fun little things and I'm going to show you how to make them too. This one I actually used um, a slider. Right. So, um, go ahead and grab your beads. Honestly, don't overthink it. Grab some colors that sing to you. Um, big beads like this work great for the body. Um, these can work great for the body too. You just need to find bicones that will fit in there. See? There you go. A little spider body. Um, I haven't actually tried this yet. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. I'm not going to try that today, but I'm going to try it eventually. But today, I'll show you how I use the slider. I have another one here. Normally these have um, like two holes run like this um, we're going to be threading this direction um, it's a little tricky but you can finagle it in there and then of course a selection of beads bugle beads this is um, some six o's and some bugle beads more six o's and bugle beads six o's and bugle beads um, some of these little six millimeter stones just, just whatever you got go look through your stash see what you got um, also using some of these little three millimeter choppy do's i've got them in different colors just i'm going to go ahead and start and i'll put a lot of this in the description below materials that you'll need but this is all about just having fun playing with colors okay so don't overthink it and just enjoy the time enjoy beading have fun, okay? Right, start off with, you're gonna need uh, about a four inch piece of 20 gauge wire. And I'm just using um, some vintage bronze because this is the only vintage, or the only wire I have at the minute that's strong enough. Um, I do have some aluminum wire in 20 gauge, but it's not strong enough. So you want something that's about half hard, okay? Right, and you're going to make a knotted head pin. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you. Taking the tip of your round nose pliers, you're just going to put a couple of coils at the top of that pin, the top of that wire. Okay? Now, you see where the end or the beginning is there, right there? Put that back on your pliers, your round nose pliers, and you're going to bend the wire straight out so that it kind of goes over where that beginning is. I hope you can see that. All right, and from here, you take the other end of the wire and push it back through that hole. All right. 
Now you're going to need some nylon jaw pliers for this step, and that's just to help hold and not mar the wire. Grab some chain nose pliers and pull! Pull! And there you go. Now, it's turned out okay. I'm just going to tighten this up just, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. And there you have it. You have like a knotted head pin with a little rosette knot on the bottom there. Okay. All right. So now what you do is you're going to grab what you're going to use for the body of your spider. I'm going to use this little slider. And I'm going to push this through one hole and the other hole. Let go on the diagonal. Okay. And pull that through. And there you have it. Okay. And I'm not sure what I'm going to use for his head. I have, I have these fun little crackle beads. I think that's cute. Oh, what else have I got? Um, I've got one of these. I don't have too many of these left. Maybe I'll, use, maybe I'll do that one. No, I think I like the crackle bead. I like the crackle bead. We're going to crackle bead it. Yeah. All right, crackle bead. Now, before I go ahead and close this with a wrapped loop, you're going to also need 24 gauge wire. And I have cut four five inch strands, five inch lengths. So four five inch lengths because you're going to need four to make the spider's legs. These are going to get bent in half. So four on each side. See how that works. And these get wrapped in between the, the head and the body of the spider. Okay? So with that in mind, you want to leave a little bit of space between the head bead and the body bead. Don't need a lot. It just it's going to help this stay in place so it doesn't keep spinning around. Long story short, just give yourself the tiniest little bit. Um, think, think of the width of the tip of your pliers. That is more than enough. So you can actually do that. Hold the bead. And that's where I'm going to start my loop. Okay, so you can see how much it's left at the top there. That might be too much, actually. I'm just going to knock it. I'm going to inch it down just a titch. Just a titch. Okay. I'm not good with measurements. I eyeball a lot of stuff. But I hope this helps. All right. Go ahead and make your wrapped loop. Okay. And I did three, and yeah, there's still plenty of space in there for, okay, now can you see that? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim my wire off here, and get as close as you can to the end there. And then take your chain nose pliers and just tuck that little end in. Okay. And now you can see. Probably still more space than I need, but we'll make it work. All right. Now, up to you how to do this. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing all four wires at once. Um, it, it does, they don't sit right. Um, you can do one at a time, or I like to do two. So I split, I grab two of those wires, and um, that 24 gauge wire, 
and I just eyeball it, just kind of fold it in the center there. And I like to start from the back. You're just going to wrap this around your spider neck. Okay. And now if you want to, you can actually grab grab the chain nose pliers. And just kind of tighten that up a bit. You can turn that around. Kind of Squeeze those ends together. Yeah, that's probably too much space. We'll make it work. Grab the other two wires that you cut. Fold those buggers in half. Oops, sorry. Oh gosh, I'm knocking things over here. All right, and again, come from the back. Basically, just do however you find it easiest to do. That's just how I find it easiest to get those wires wrapped around the neck. Okay. See if you can kind of see what I got going on there. Okay, this is the fun part. And just kind of move these wires out. Um, and I look to see where they're crossing. So I know like first, come here you bugger, that's, oh no, that ain't it. There's a second one there, um, third and fourth. And then I just kind of move these guys out of the way. And I'm just sort of holding the head and the body in between my thumb and my forefinger. All right, now this is the fun part. All right, I got a selection of beads here. I'm not sure what I'm going to start with, what I'm going to do. I'm thinking maybe some green and some gold and maybe some of these guys. Um, I'm going to start with... I'll use some of these. No, I'm going to use these. We're going to do green. We're going to do green. All right, so these are just size 11 seed beads. And I'm going to put three on. I like to work in odd numbers. So there's three. And start with your smaller beads. Sorry, totally off camera there. Um, I like to start with the smaller beads closer to the body so you can push them right down in. This is going to help stabilize the legs, okay? All right, so now that I've done that, I think I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do these green bugle beads. So I'm going to slide on two of those. And then I think I'm going to grab one of these little faceted rounds, a little three millimeter. That might be four millimeter. I don't know. Don't make me measure it. I don't have a ruler. Yeah, I do. That's going to be three millimeter. Nope, four millimeter. All right. There we go. And then I like to put the bigger beads, and you can do either the rounds there. Um, you can do some bicone action. Those might be kind of fun. Um, I don't think I have enough crackle beads, but you could even tie in his head with his little arms one of those on. But I think I'm going to go with the bicone. I'm going with these little bicones here. Yeah. Another one of your little four millimeter rounds. Pop that on. A couple more bugle beads. All right. Now, five inches should give you plenty of length that you can either do really long legs or stop here and keep the legs kind of short. I'm actually going to stop here and keep the legs kind of short. I'm going to thread on, um, I think 
I'm going to do the seed bead in blue, a little six millimeter seed bead. And once you've got your leg done, take your round nose pliers, make sure those beads are right down next to the body, and you can trim this if you like, or I just keep it and start my roll. And we're, what we're doing is we're going to close this so that the seed beads don't fall off with a little spiral. Okay. Give it a little squeeze. All I'm doing is squeezing that. Or hardens it a bit so that it holds its shape. And there you have one leg done. So I'm going to go ahead and do this leg. I'm going to keep the same on the both sides. It just, or you can make it go asymmetrical. You know, nothing wrong with a fun little funky spider. A little asymmetrical spider. That could be kind of fun, actually. Sort of like a Picasso spider. You know? Two of those shiny green bugle beads, and then one of the little four millimeter rounds. Boop. Another one of our bicones. Um, another little round, and then a couple more of those green bugle beads. So seed beads. Push that right down next to his body. Grab your round nose pliers. Grab the very tip of the wire and the tip of the pliers there. And you're just going to start to roll that in. And once you get that done, come in with your chain nose pliers and just squeeze that little wire shut. Okay? And then you can pinch it and start to roll that in. Okay, and there you go. Work hard in it, give it a little squeeze. There, now we got two legs done. It's gonna be pretty. All right. So you kind of get the idea, um, and you can keep all the legs the same, or you can mix and match, do them a little different. Uh, he's got two red legs, or four red legs and four gold legs, and I just kind of alternated. All right. Um, try to see if I have another one. Well, it's this one. So again, I use a slider for this. Gave him a couple of little sunstone elbow joints there and then just use the rest of these pale blue four millimeters um, I wanted to incorporate a little bit of natural gemstone and the sunstone is one of my favorites so I put sunstone beads that I got from Sam's in there so pretty okay so I'm gonna finish up his legs and I'm gonna come back okay you guys and there is my finished So, you can kind of see I mixed and matched his legs a little bit. So I used these silver blue bugle beads. Just kind of just kind of switched it up a little bit, you know. And there you go. Um still a bit loose through here. I'm not too too worried about it cuz I mean it's secure. Um yeah. So I hope you have fun making your very own beaded Christmas spider. Okay? Excellent. I am going to tidy some of this up, and um, I'll be right back. And I'm going to do a little... I just, I'm going to tidy this up. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So there's my little spiders. Fun.
fun, fun, fun. Right, so these are made again with the sliders. And I also made these with little sliders as well. A little bit of Bronco action going on there. Woohoo! Okay, and then these I did with beads. So you pretty much do the same thing, but as opposed to going through the holes of the slider on an axis, on its axis, you go through your bead. Um, so you can see I did my knotted head pin, put on a little mini bead, big bead. Big bicone for his head, and then I just used seed beads, six O's, eleven O's, little four millimeter crystals, six millimeter bicones, and then you just you curl up, curl up the ends of their feet, and then work hard in them. Okay, and there you have it. Okay. And that was a lamp work bead that I found that um, I don't know, it had such an unusual shape. Another crystal. Sparkles. Okay, guys. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And um, again, really trying hard to get at least one video up a week. So, with that said, create a beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. Um, I'm going to put um, materials that I used in the description box below. And hopefully it helps. But the main point I want to get across is have fun. Have fun. Play around. Thread different, use bugle beads, use seed beads. Try, like try one leg. Do you like it? Does it look? Yeah, try it. Yeah, see what happens. But don't overthink it, okay? Just have fun making your little beady Christmas spiders. And again, I'll put the legend of the Christmas spider in the description box below as well. So, create a beautiful day. Like my channel, subscribe, hit the little bell, and get notifications when I do upload videos. Thanks, guys. Hope you hope you're taking care of yourselves, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.